الحمد لله الذي أنزل على عبده الكتاب ولم يجعل له عوجا قيما لينذر باسا شديدا من لدن ويبشر المؤمنين الذين يعملون الصالحات أن لهم أن لهم أجرا حسنا الحمد لله حمد المستزيد عطاء من آلاؤه لا تنتهي عددا أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له شهادة أطلب بها المزيد غدا وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله نبي صدق من نهج نهجه لا شك قد رشدا أما بعد Welcome back to Nectars of the Cave The Nectar Secret That this chapter 18 Surah Al-Kahf Gave the world Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala Had codified many lessons in this chapter And we're trying our best to bring it out and bring those codes of conduct, behavior, and also way of dealing, building personal life, and also establishing our social you know, responsibility peacefully, and how government should operate and all. Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala had placed the secret of our lives in this chapter, the 18th chapter of Quran, Surah Al-Kahf. As we began from the beginning, taking lesson and lesson and lesson, meaning number of lessons that we've gleaned. Today we're still in the story of Prophet Musa alayhi salatu wasalam and Khadr when they travel together purposely to teach the world how to behave and also how to live peacefully and to be socially responsible. That being said, we always open by reciting Quran as the series had been set up according to this method and pattern. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Fan talaqa. حتى إذا أتى أهل قرية استطعما أهلها فأبوا أن يضيفوهما فوجدا فيها جدارا يريد أن ينقض فأقامه قال لو شئت لاتخذت عليه أجرا قال لو شئت لتخذت عليه أجرا قال هذا فراق بيني وبينك سأنبئك بتأويل ما لم تستطع عليه صبرا سأنبئك بتأويل ما لم تستطع عليه صبرا سأنبئك بتأويل ما لم تستطع عليه صبرا أما السفينة فكانت لمساكين يعملون في البحر فأردت أن أعيبها وكان وراءهم ملك يأخذ كل سفينة وكان وراءهم ملك يأخذ كل سفينة غصبا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فانطلقا حتى إذا أتيا أهل 
قرية استطعما أهلها استطعما أهلها فأبوا يضيفوهما فوجدا فيها جدارا يريد أن ينقض فأقامه قال لو شئت لاتخذت عليه أجرا قال هذا فراق بيني وبينك سأنبئك بتاويل ما لم تستطع عليه صبرا أما السفينة فكانت لمساكين يعملون في البحر أما السفينة فكانت لمساكين يعملون في البحر فأردت أن أعيبها وكان وراءهم ملك يأخذ كل سفينة غصبا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فانطلق حتى إذا أتيا أهل قرية استطعما أهلها استطعما أهلها فأبوا أن يضيفوهما فوجدا فيها جدارا يريد أن ينقض فقامه قال لو شئت لاتخذت عليه أجرا قال لو شئت لاتخذت عليه أجرا قال لو شئت لاتخذت عليه أجرا قال هذا فراق بيني وبينك سأنبئك بتأويل ما لم تستطع عليه صبرا أما السفينة فكانت لمساكين يعملون في البحر أما السفينة فكانت لمساكين يعملون في البحر فأردت أن أعيبها وكان وراءهم ملك يأخذ كل سفينة غصبا. These are the verses that we heard for the day. They are being preserved by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Previously, we talked about Musa alayhi salatu salam and Prophet Khadr, may peace of Almighty forever be upon both of them. When they traveled, there was a condition that Prophet Khadr laid. He said, these are my rules. If you abide by them, welcome. If not, we will part. First, make sure you do not ask for any interpretation until the interpretation is due. I will clarify, demystify, elucidate whatever I said or whatever I do. So do not ask me. In ittaba'tani fala tas'alni an shay hatta uhditha laka minhu dhikra. That was the agreement. And in hadith, al-muslimuna ala shurutihim. Muslims are um, hold accountable based on whatever they agree upon whether it's verbal or it's inked. So they agree not to be interrupted. Now both of them took off. They set out, they left, in talaqa, both again. 
Almighty did not talk about Yusha ibn Nun. What is the purpose? Earlier, at the very beginning, he said, in talaqa both. Khadr alayhi salatu salam and Musa. But the journey began with the first two. Then they met the righteous slave of Allah, Khadr alayhi wa ala anbiya illahi salatu wa salam. But now we keep on hearing Musa alayhi salam and Khadr. What happened to you, Sha'a? This is to indicate that sometimes people may be left behind on mention. That should not penetrate your heart and get angry. Why we all started the organization. Now whenever you talk about um, the organization, you do not mention me. And I'm not into the documents. No, if you do it for Allah subhanahu jalla jalalu, there's no need for you to be mentioned. It's between you and Allah. Whether they mention you in the dark or not. But some people, so long as I'm not part of the movement, I'm not in it, I do not want people to succeed. That selfishness. Khadr alayhi salam, Musa alayhi salatu salam in talaqa, knowing that he is with them, Yusha ibn Nun. In talaqa hatta idha ataya ahla qariya. Both of them left after killing the young man, after riding the boat, killing the young man. Now they are in a town. In talaqa hatta idha ataya ahla qariya. Both of them left until they went to the people of a town. Both of them again, Yusha is unmentioned, yet he did not have any grudges in his heart. Why I'm part of the movement and I'm not in the document. I'm part of the organization, but everybody holds microphone to talk except me. None, none of that. They ask the people of the town for provision, food. Give us some food. So both of them ask the people of the town for food. However, the people of the town refused. The people of the town refused to provide. Refused to give. And to provide them some sustenance or food to eat. In this situation, imagine them standing. Hungry. No hospitality. They ask for food. But the people refused to even show them the slightest of his hospitality, nothing. As they were standing, both of them witnessed a jidar. Jidar means a wall. فَوَجَدَ فِيهَا جِدَارٌ In the same town, they saw a wall. يُرِيدُ أَنْ يَنْقَضَّ That wall decides, or that wall wants to fall. The word يُرِيدُ the wall want to fall. We have a unique explanation for it. But after this short break, bi-idhnillahi tabarak wa ta'ala, remain blessed. Wassalamu alaikum. Alhamdulillahi alladhi anzal ala abdihi al-kitab wa lam yaj'al lahu iwaja Today we want to talk about the ways, the actual practical ways to achieve happiness. So that way we can attain that success in this dunya and in the next Bismillah uh, ta'ala. As, as men in particular, we are financially responsible for our families and also we will be asked about our money mm. in the hadith it mentions, where it came from and what we spent it on. Mm. But the major sins that needs tawbah, that needs uh, you know, real repentance, real serious repentance. I want to focus the majority of this uh, episode on the major signs as they are uh, mainly more important and of course they, you know, we can relate to them uh, and hopefully increase us in Iman which will in turn make us uh, successful Muslims inshallah. The fact that Allah is telling us about Jannah and Jahannam, we should take heed mm. so that we can wake up. The fact that Allah is telling us about the Day of Judgment, what will happen uh, is because when we experience it, we can't deny it. Ramadan. Alhamdulillahi, the one who 
نزل على عبده الكتاب ولم يجعل له عوجا Welcome back to Nectris of the Cave i.e. the secret of it the chapter Surah Al-Kahf Almighty Subhanahu wa Ta'ala is still telling us the wisdom that he gave Al-Khadr alayhi salatu wassalam that he wanted that wisdom to be shared for Khadr alayhi salatu wassalam to release some of his hidden secret that Almighty Allah had given him to Prophet Musa alayhi salatu wassalam to indicate that above every knowledgeable person there is someone much more higher in knowledge. So both of them travel. Now they're in the town, hungry. They ask the people of the town for food. No hospitality was given or shown whatsoever. As they were standing, they saw a pillar. Yuridu an yanqadda fa aqama. The pillar wants, wanted to fall, but Khadr alayhi salatu wasalam brought it back and he kept it straight. Allah said, Yuridu an yanqadda. The fa'il of Yuridu is Damir Mustatir. The Jidar is what intended to fall. Now, we know that human being, or as a person, you may intend to do something. But here, Almighty says that the pillar or the wall decided or wanted to fall. But Khadr والسلام, straightened it and brought it back. Does that mean that even things in nature have willingness of doing things? A wall will decide to do something? Does a wall have that type of mentality of intending or wanting? Does they also have free will? Well, often scientifically, some scientists may deny and say no. And others will say yes, plants do, but not walls. But Almighty Allah, the creator of all, he said even that. Even a wall has willingness in it because of this ayah. The wall wanted to fall, but Khadr brought it back and kept it straight. Why? Almighty subhanahu jalla thana'u, sublime and exalted be he, stated in Surah Bani Israel, تُسَبِّحُ لَهُ السَّمَاوَاتُ السَّبْعُ وَالْأَرْضُ وَمَنْ فِيهِنْ وَإِمِّ شَيْءٍ إِلَّا يُسَبِّحُ بِحَمْدِهِ وَلَكِنْ لَا تَفْقَهُونَ تَسْبِحَهُمْ Meaning, the heavens and the earth, and whosoever is on earth, or those on earth, and whosoever in the heavens, all and everything that you know and things that you do not know, glorify the name of Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala with praise. وَإِمْ مِنْ شَيْءٍ And there is nothing in existence, إِلَّا يُسَبِّحُ بِحَمْدِهِ Except that thing glorifies the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and glorifies Allah with praise. The only issue is that you group of people, لا تفقهون تسبيحهم, you do not understand their glorification. Ya subhanallah. So the birds, they make zikr, they remember Allah. Plants, they mention the name of Allah. The sun glorifies Allah. Even Virus Corona also praises Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's nothing that you are aware of except that very thing glorifies Allah. The only problem with human being is that they do not perceive or understand their glorification. So here, Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned to us that the wall had willingness. The wall wanted to collapse. The wall wanted to collapse, but Prophet Khadr alayhi salam came and he kept it straight. Amazingly, Musa alayhi salatu salam looked. Huh? What did he do? You fixed their wall? These are the very people that we asked them for food. Not even hospitality was shown, no mercy whatsoever. As strangers in their town asking for food, they did not provide, just food. And now their wall is collapsing and you are straightening it up and bringing it back. You are straightening up their wall that is falling. 
لو شئت لاتخذت عليه اجرا لو شئت لاتخذت عليه اجرا لو شئت لاتخذت عليه اجرا were you to have willingness of payment you should have asked them for payment if you had willed you should have asked them for what payment meaning for them to pay you for your labor khadr alayhi salatu wassalam did not ask them for anything when they asked for food they did not provide and now he fixed their wall that could have caused damage in the society or in the community he did not do anything what they did he went straight and he fixed it prophet of allah doing some social work social service that's how islam is all about law shi'ta lattakhadta alayhi ajra so if you had willed or had a desire for payment no one would have what question or doubt it your pay because you did help the people of the town why you did not take payment from them that's what he wanted to ask these people they did not feed us at least this should be a means of what food for us but you did not ask for anything khadr alayhi salatu wasalam turned and looked at him he said hadha firaq bayni wa baynak or hadha firaq bayni wa baynik this is the separation between me and you this is the day that we will what go apart you can't be with me any longer you yourself said earlier that laqad balaghta minni or you yourself earlier you said to me that in sa'altuka an shay'in ba'daha if i ask for anything after this fala tusahibni do not allow me to accompany you or do not take me as your student or companion قَدْ بَلَغْتَ مِنْ لَدُنِّي عُذْرًا أَوْ مِنْ لَدُنِّي عُذْرًا you have actually found enough excuses from me because nobody will blame you the fault is mine subhanallah look even as a student he is not ascribing mistake to the teacher why because a day will come you're not doing all of this just for the teacher for you to be blessed in your life a day will come you will be a teacher too dealing with your parents nicely respectfully whether you have degree that they do not have or you do not whether you are richer than them or not whether you are stronger than them or not at least show them respect because a day will come you will be in their position and you will have children the way you will deal with your parents you will also be dealt likewise the way that you will deal with your teacher you will be dealt with in the same fashion so i came to that which you do to others is what you receive kama tadinu tudan the way you deal you will be also dealt with accordingly jaza and wifaqa is actually a match retribution or payment from allah subhanahu jalla jalalu so this is what musa alayhi salatu wasalam asked لو شئت لاتخذت عليه اجرا هذا فراق بيني وبينك بين يو اند مي ناثين اوس اتس اوفر بات بيفور اي ليت يو جو سانبئك بتاويل ما لم تستطع عليه صبرا اي ويل جيف يو ذا انتربريتيشن اوف ذا ويتش يو هاف نو بيشن اور ديد نوت شو بيشنس فور ذا ويتش يو ديد نوت فاين يور سيلف تو بي بيشن انف تو ويت فور مي تو انتربريت فور يو اور اكسبلين تو يو ذا ويتش يو ديد نوت هاف بيشنس فور اي ويل جيف يو ذا انتربريتيشن اوف ات بيفور وي ديبارت اور بيفور وي ابارت بيفور وي سيبريت I will give you the interpretation. Amma safinatu. Remember the sequence of the event. First, they rode a boat or ship, he broke it. Second, he twisted or killed a young man. Third, and lastly, he fixed the wall. He said this three that you did not act patiently until you received the interpretation for it's time for me to what to teach you the reason why i did as for the first one amma safinatu as for the ship or the boat fakanat limasakina that ship or that ship boat ship if you want to call it that ship belonged to masakin meaning group of needy or poor people kanat limasakina ya'maluna fil bahr they use it as means of provision using it to walk on the boat to find something for them and for their families this is all what happened kanat li masakin ya'maluna fil bahr they using it to have some provision for their families using the same sea fa aradtu an a'ibaha and i decided to cause 
some fault, defect, or cause some fault in that boat or that ship. Why did he want to fault the ship? He said, the reason why I faulted it, because in front of them, there is a king. Wara means behind, but wara also in Arabic means before someone or in front of him. So wakana wara ahum malik, meaning in front of them where we aiming or where we are going, there is malik, meaning a king. Ya'akhudhu kulla safinatin ghasba, ayya'akhudhu kulla safinatin salihatin ghasba. He takes every faultless boat. The boat that is faultless, clean, nice looking, strong, he takes it unjustly, without any right. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, كَانَ وَرَاءَهُ مَلِكْ يَأْخُذُ كُلَّ سَفِينَةٍ غَصْبَ He takes every safina, every good ship, he takes it. Every good ship, he takes it. The word good or nice is not mentioned in the ayah. So basically, the na'at is dropped. And the man'ud is left. Why? Because in Arabic language, وَمَا مِنَ النَّعْتِ وَالْمَنْعُوتُ عُقِلْ يَجُوزُ حَذْفُهُ وَفِي النَّعْتِ يَقِلْ Meaning in Arabic, you may leave adjective and drop whatsoever that you define in or whatsoever you qualify in with that adjective. Or sometimes, whatever you are describing, you may leave it and then dro drop or omit the adjective itself. So the word, وَكَانَ وَرَاءَهُ مَلِكٌ يَأْخُذُ كُلَّ سَفِينَةٍ He takes every ship. There's a word, صَالِحَة, meaning faultless ship, nice ship. He takes it without any justification. That's why I faulted it, so that he will not take, so that at least the young boys will be able to find nice provision out of it. That's the reason why I did the first act. As for the rest, will come in our next episode. Remain blessed. Wassalamu alaikum. Bad'an wa khitama. Alhamdulillahi alladhi anzal ala abdihi al-kitab wa lam yaj'al lahu iwaja qayyiman liyunzir basan shadidan min ladun ويبشر المؤمنين الذين يعملون الصالحات أن لهم أن لهم أجرا حسنا